Today, I praise God for the presence, the power, and the purpose of Holy Spirit. He is here. He exists today because Holy Spirit is God himself. According to Genesis 1 verse 2, it declares the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. In other words, he was moving upon the waters. Holy Spirit sets the atmosphere for the manifestation of the Word of God. Because the next verse says, and God said, and everything God declared came to pass without an issue. Nothing could stop it. And today it exists because of Holy Spirit. Job declared in Job 26 verse 13, by his spirit, he garnished in other words, he enhances, he improves, he decorates the heavens. That's what Job declared Holy Spirit to be. He garnished the heavens. And because he is God, he is everywhere at the same time. Holy Spirit is omnipresent. David asked the question in Psalm 139, Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I raise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle in the far side of even there, your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. That's what David declared in Psalm 139, approving that he's everywhere, all at the same time, fully functional to be God. And besides him, there is no other. He is here to be in us, to be with us, and to lead us and guide us into all truth so that we may fulfill our purpose as believers here on earth. The words of Jesus live and direct to his disciples is our meditation today and is found in Acts 1, 8. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth, the word of God to the people of God. And we know this has already happened, and it is still happening today for believers who trust God, who wait in his presence in prayer and in worship and obedience. And today we need the pouring, we need the filling, we need the baptism of Holy Spirit as believers to complete the mission that God has given to us. So let's desire, let's hunt after, let's go for God today and worship him for his presence, his power, and his purpose, and allow Holy Spirit to live in us, to lead, and to guide us. He is the spirit of truth that we need. Father, thank you for your word, for your presence. Thank you, Father, for your outpouring, and today you still live forever to work in us, to fill us, to lead and to guide us. And we so receive you in the name of the Father. And we give you praise for those who lead the nations. We commend them to you today. 
and they too will allow your presence to lead them, including our prime minister and all of parliament, their families. We commend our leaders today, those who lead in the body of Christ, those who lead in civil society, we commend to you today. And we say, Lord, have your way. Now, oh God, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem and for families everywhere. Let your peace reign. Let your peace dominate even today. And we bless you for the salvation of souls today that will come to know you, whom to know is life eternal. We give you honor. We give you glory. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forevermore. Come Holy Spirit, breathe on us. Come Holy Spirit, live in us. Lead and to guide us and have your way in us. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you, my family in Christ. Let's celebrate the power, the presence, and the purpose of Holy Spirit and allow him to lead and to guide us even today. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen.